Fight Hungry Mega Eagle! So I'm doing it work today, you know, and I'm uh, drawing out machetes. Right, I really like machetes, I might have said that before, I quite like machetes. And I'm doing a machete on a, on a small bit of paper, so I left a gap in the middle, you know, like, uh, you know, the wavy line gap where you, you draw the handle and then you draw the end of it and then you have a, a wavy line that says, you know, right, six inches missing or whatever. Then looked at it and it's actually looked, uh, she did like a like, really, really interesting little knife, like kind of looked like a cleaver versus a machete, just basically a, uh, a normal depth machete that is only six inches long. Uh, so I sketched it out again on a bit of steel. Voila! It's just a bit mild steel. I was gonna use a template, and now we're gonna make it out of some tool steel. Because <sighs> I'm trying to build a new workshop, uh, and I don't have enough money coming in for my job, and I'm spending it all on my family, like, little fuckers, like, you know, can't believe how much kids eat and that. Uh, I accidentally went out and bought a shitload of tool steel and a belt linisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, like, you know, cost me a ton of money. But, I figured I'm going to go into a uh, machete mass production. There's 30 linear metres of... Uh, uh, eighth, eighth by two inch tool steel and another 15 linear meters of, oh no, that's the thin stuff again, of a five sixteenths by two inch, All right, which would be a little bit better for parangs, but, um, but you know, there's no point just working and shit and not doing anything fun with your life, so, uh, while I've got all this tool still here, and it's beautifully annealed, you know, it's like battery soft at the minute. Um, figured I'll have some fun making some crazy knives and experimenting with the with the baby machete. Uh, Just whilst I'm thinking about it, um, we're going to close the Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle Parang competition, yeah? So, a load of you bought the stickers for the competition, but uh, there's only three of you that have actually sent pictures in to the Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle Facebook page. Uh, so, he got the stickers, and he still want to enter. Do it now, because he probably only got about a week left, and then uh, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out who's uh, who's gonna get the uh, who's gonna get the fucking um, the parang thing, yeah. I should be able to build a uh, jig for that linisher, the, the big belt grinder that will uh, give me nice clean, nice clean bevels in seconds. But I obviously ain't done that yet, and uh, the thing's a, a bit of a handful. First time I've used it, so I've got to tidy up the um, the bevels with a uh, with a file, to get everything flattish. You know?
okay. Uh, it's been for a heat treat and uh, and tempered back down again. I'm just gonna put an edge on it, take the scale off the handle. I'm gonna leave it in a you know a, a post post heat treat finish. I quite like that that black black scale on it. Um, the blade anyway it stops it rusting quite so quick as well. But, um, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, the finished product, the the dwarf dwarf mid, um, midget machete. Yeah, uh, it looks awesome. Well, I think so. Anyway, um, of course, I'd like to know what you think. Um, but it doesn't feel that useful, to be honest. Uh, too cumbersome to be a to be a you know a utility knife. Um, there's a bit of weight there, but you know, I want to be able to get through uh, uh, something like this in, in a couple of strikes, I suppose. And um, it's not going to do it in a couple of strikes, is it? But um, you know, it's quite, quite nice and nimble.
Oh, actually, that was, that was incredibly easy. Maybe, I, maybe I've invented a new knife, a, uh, a staking knife. Hmm? Stake your timbers now with Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle! Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, genuinely, I want to know what you guys think. I, I would love to go into production with a, uh, you know, with a, uh, some, something that's going to use, not a, not a, not a showpiece knife, but something that, something that I can offer at a reasonable price, which is genuinely going to get used, and uh, it would give me tremendous joy and satisfaction knowing that something that I've made is being used by other people, you know, because, uh, we, uh, because that's just what I like. Oh, it is. Got a nice edge on it. This is O1, this is O1 tool steel, yeah, and I've got, got a shitload of it. The whole idea was I was going to have a play around. Um, it has highlighted some deficiencies in my setup, and what, and the fact that I, I cannot easily put a, put a grind on this knife with the colossal new belt sander until I've built a guide and that, which I'll be doing shortly. Um, sheath ideas, I don't know if anyone's got any ideas. Uh, I'm looking into that Kydex stuff. I hate, I hate the way the Kydex sheaths look, um, but I've got an idea, so I'll, I'll probably get to you with a video. I'll make a, a sheath for this out of the... Um, I've actually got some ABS because it's a, a shitload cheaper than Kydex, but... Um, uh, I'll have a play around with that and um, see if I can make something a little bit less tactical looking uh, at, at the ABS and you know we'll see what happens with that yeah I wonder if this is the only job that he's going to be good at you can't really um do anything too uh, too fine Chopping, bush chopper, chop. Right, mate, have you seen me chopper? Yes, yeah, it's, it's right here, yeah, as it happens. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's it for today. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Like and subscribe as always. Uh, you know, you really help me out if you share my videos and that. Um, and uh, if you if you want to help fund the, uh, the the new workshop and. Um, and you can't wait to buy a knife, then uh, and hit my Patreon up. I'll put uh, put a link below, and uh, you know, like you know, cheers, guys. The, the the two blokes that already um give me a couple of quid every month. It's uh, absolutely amazing, and you you completely fucking amaze me and shit. All right, take it easy. See you later. Oh, oh, it's not sticking in the wood now, is it? Hey, see you later.